All right. I made it sound like that last video was the last thing to come from Yums this year, but that's because <laughs> most people don't watch this part. It's the last trivia train. The trivia train. Trivia Get it! I was that. trying to pass it down for you to put him in the box. Oh. And then he just kind of started eating. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going to brown. Wouldn't it be easier to give you the box? <laughs> All right, Santa, welcome aboard the trivia train. Question one: Italian tr children receive gifts or coal from who? Santa Claus, mm -mm. Befana the witch, mm -mm. Giorgio or Giorgio the gremlin, or Luna the pixie. Giorgio the gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> like Giorgio? Giorgio. <laughs> Giorgio. That's the most Italian thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Giorgio. Move aside, Santa Giorgio. Claus. Italy's all about Giorgio. the broomstick riding witch. Ah. On January 6th, Wait, known as... Name? Who cares? Bifana. Brunhilde. Bifana. Epiphany Eve. La Bifana flies through the night sky to deliver candy and to present to the well-behaved children of Maybe Italy. And the naughty children, they receive, you guessed it, a lump of coal. You can't do that, Jason. As a thank you for her I visit, families oh. leave a glass of mulled wine for La Bifana to enjoy. Our legal team insisted we mention that Universal Yums does not support flying under the influence of alcohol. Yeah, they do. They just told them to. Wait, you should join in on the answers. Okay. I fly it better. Number two. On December 25th, Peruvians settle old conflicts by what? What did they do? What did they they do? brawl in the streets. <laughs> Whoa, that, that's one of the options. <laughs> <laughs> the options are sharing a drink, cooking together, having a debate, or brawling. <laughs> it got me wrong. He I said it himself. He said it. He's Peruvian. He's Peruvian. <laughs> it's my favorite thing. <laughs> well, you don't even have to answer this. I one. know I spoiled it, but it's my favorite like fact. Because we asked my dad about it one year. <laughs> Have a score to settle with someone? Let's hope it wasn't on. It wasn't in the chunk. Biv, biv we need to ask him if he has a story. Province of Peru. That's because they prefer to settle unresolved disputes through fisticuffs. Fisticuffs. All right, Jacob. I'll see you. Takanakai <laughs> is a r raucous festival that involves drinking, dancing, and letting go of old grudges for the sake of peace in the coming year. It's well-meaning enough, but we'd prefer to settle conflicts over the yums instead. Y'all didn't give us a Peruvian snack, but you gave us that, so I guess you're okay. <laughs> that was a real... <laughs> <laughs> I love that. On December 25th, you got a problem with someone? <laughs> Just beat Let her them have it. <laughs> Let's do it. Just throw down real quick. Number three. In Ukraine, people decorate their trees with what? Ukraine? Pickles. Yeah. Pickle? Pick pickles? Beets. <laughs> Spiders' webs. Or dragonflies. Spiders web. Dragonflies. It's dragonflies. Pickles? That sounds funny, or pickles. Do they have dragonflies in there? Good. Uh, <laughs> I thought you said, do Wait, they have pickles? Yeah. Pickles beats spider webs or dragonflies? Spider webs. Okay. No, yeah. Okay. You said pickles, you said spider webs, I said dragonflies. It may sound odd, but the tradition actually stems from an old Christmas story. Long ago, a poor family grew a Christmas tree from a pine cone. A pine cone. But didn't have enough money to decorate it. Feeling sorry for the family, a spider spun webs all around yeah, the tree. I wanted to make one. a joke saying they turned him into a pickle. It was <laughs> the funniest <laughs> thing they ever saw. When the morning light hit the webs, they glowed with a silver gold. Spiders don't seem to so spooky anymore when we think of them as happy little holiday helpers. Now nah, they still nasty. They are. They still pretty gross and scary. These are mean. If they wouldn't crawl over the place, they'd be fine. If they just chill and like I could pass them a little something, and they just go, <laughs> it would be fine. But they don't. They I don't mind spiders. Actually, actually to kill spiders. Or but I have a phobia like of they snakes. Are you know, like Indiana Jones and lizards. He is. He's like, what would be worse? A tarantula or a snake crawling up your pants? What is it? No, scorpion. Scorpion. Scorpion or a snake. And I was like, snake for sure. A scorpion, you can just like either smash it or get it out. Wait. What? I mean. Yeah, what? yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. What? No, no, no. That wasn't it. When you think about it, the snake won't bite you. 
<laughs> I just did his argument. It doesn't have to. <laughs> yeah, you should, my, you should prove my point. Because the snake doesn't have to bite when I, you. No, when I thought about smashing it, I was like, wait, you would for sure get the scorpion Wait, let me get my finger you. wet and I'll just do this real quick and it'll be very similar. <laughs> no, but for the snake, you just kind of whoop. <laughs> I, I know. What were we talking about? Oh, spiders decorating I'm trees. Scared. All right, number four. <laughs> number four. On the first day of Ramadan, residents of Istanbul are woken up at 2.30 a.m. by... Wait, I have a question. Would you rather be in a coffin full of snakes or spiders? Spiders. I mean snakes. What is wrong with you? <laughs> what kind of snakes? Because there's snakes that don't really... It doesn't matter. Any. Oh. I feel like it does matter, though. You can choose. It does no, matter. No, you can choose. It doesn't matter. All right. So I think the safest bet is spiders and Daddy Long Legs no, as the spider. Spiders will go up your asshole. Yeah. There's too many and orifices for them to fit in. Oh my god. That's <laughs> true. That's true. Someone tried and to murder your ears. Me. So I'd rather do snakes. I, you're right. Snakes is all around better. I feel like uh, I tempt fate with the snakes because I feel like they're less likely to go in my holes. What happens if yeah. it's tarantulas? No. Are they spiders? They're really little ones, baby. Well, no. <laughs> they, they could fit up your ass. That'd be more. Well, I don't think they. I don't think they want to. Have you seen that video? <laughs> what, what video? Did you video? <laughs> I thought we were doing like, some Christmas what? trivia. Jacob. What video? <laughs> he died a week later. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, you can go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What? Are you about to have me go on some gore site real quick to see a snake nah, scurry up a dude's butt? Ew. But it sounds like something got to be shared on there. <sighs> snake goes up man's bum. He dies week later. <laughs> Is that what happened? Or you sound like King uh, It's a little worse than that. Well, but. Okay, well, anyway, continuing on the trip. This is a Let's Play story time. I want to hear about yeah, that. I'm not going to talk about this for the holiday season. <laughs> You're right. All right, up. back to the question. Number four. The first day of Ramadan, <laughs> residents of Istanbul are woken up at 2.30 a.m. by what? Bells. 200 roosters, 2,000 drummers, 500 <gasps> singers, drummers. or 10,000 trumpeteers. 10,000 drummers. drummers. I'm thinking of the drummers, actually. But it might be the 10,000, because I thought it was 10,000 drummers, but... 10,000 drummers 10, drumming, that's the 10,000 days of Christmas. 2,000 drummers. <laughs> the 2,000 days of Christmas, did you say that? <laughs> the 10,000 days of Christmas. <laughs> Alright. One thing's for certain. You don't need an alarm clock during Ramadan. Throughout this holy month, 2,000 brightly dressed drummers march through the streets of Istanbul. Why so early? Because they're walking the the residents of Sahur, the last pre-dawn meal, oh, waking, wait, wait, waking in the residents of Sahur, the last pre-dawn meal before the fasting begins. And we promise you don't want to miss that meal, because afterwards it's a day of fasting up until sunset. Alright, number now five. Now back to the snake. <laughs> Two, 2, 2.30 a.m.? Are you kidding me? And then you wake up, you eat, and then you go back to sleep. <laughs> At 2.30 in the morning. There's 2,000 drums being beat out <laughs> Right outside your, your house, specifically. <gasps> they surround it. I would enjoy that. <laughs> That'd be funny, actually. That'd be a fun thing to wake up to. That'd be a fun thing to wake someone up with. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to be the guy waking up, but well, actually, that's not that bad, because you just stay up. <laughs> All right, okay, let's go. Let's number go. five. In Venezuela's capital, people get to, to midnight mass on Christmas by... It's trampling each other to death. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> By actually <laughs> killing each other. <laughs> it's Venezuela. Brawling in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, roller skating, riding the bus, dancing, or hitchhiking. If everyone's supposed to hitchhike, how does that work out? That doesn't make sense. Dancing. Wait, what was the question? How do they get to the midnight? Wait, what, what was were the, the answers? <laughs> what, were the one, what were the first two? Skating, bus, dancing, dancing. hitchhike. I'm going with dancing. It's gotta be dancing. I'll I'll be, I'll be extra festive and say skating. Why are you talking about the list more than usual? Hitchhiking. <laughs> huh? Hitchhiking. Strap on your skates and let's get rolling. When the fireworks start, you know it's time to throw on your skates and make your way to mass in style. But I want to show my toes. Entire families take part in the festive tradition, rolling through the streets uh, to the sound of fireworks and ra ringing bells. <laughs> <laughs> the event is so popular and <laughs> popular that the city even closes the streets to traffic for safer skating. Now that is a word. I that sure sense. beats a normal Christmas party. Not really. I wouldn't. Like I would. What? Dancing sounded more fun. You don't like. I would skating? rather. I would rather 
Somber I'd rather like down. everyone do the like thriller out in the streets, but they keep going in one direction. Cool. Well, I'd rather salsa down Main Street than roller skate. But I do like skating. I have salsa a lot. I've never skated. Number six. In Japan, people celebrate the new year by eating what? Kentucky Fried Chicken. Udon noodles. Fatty tuna sushi. I think that's it, actually. Chewy rice cakes or cucumber rice balls. What was the second one? Fatty tuna sushi. That was the third one? Chewy rice cakes. What was the first one? <laughs> Udon noodles. <laughs> what was the fourth one? <laughs> <laughs> cucumber rice balls. It was balls. the balls, all right. It's the first um, one, I think. I want to say, I'm between the, the tuna and the rice balls. I'll say, uh... I have no idea. I'm going to go with the third one. All right, so I'll go with the second one. Near the start of the new year, many Japanese people participate in mokitsuki, an old tradition of pounding rice for mochi. 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 That's right. Uh, rice cakes. I stole it the from mochi me. is used in everything from desserts to dumplings to offerings in home shrines. Since the word mochi is pronounced the same as the word for to have, eating it is said to bring good fortune in the coming year. One thing's for sure, mochi is a treat we'll be, we'll be having this New Year's. Hmm. Right, is, is that like to the next box, or is that like... <laughs> Alright, this one's a multiple answer. Oh, god damn. Number seven. From All December, the above. <laughs> from December <laughs> to January, people in Wales are greeted by a mysterious creature that what? Kisses Has me. the head of a horse skull, sings Christmas carols, mm -hmm. Or challenges people to rap battles, or wants to raid your kitchen. The rap battle. The first is the second one. Wait, what was the second one? Uh, Christmas either. carols. Carols and I feel like no, carols first, and second, raiding your house. Fourth, second, and fourth. Or whatever. Wait, first, second, and fourth. All the so not the, for, not the rap battle. Not the rap battle. I mean, I feel like the rap battle's no, too out there. This? Wales. Mm -hmm. Wales. <laughs> they rap in Wales. <laughs> that's not like a shitty like Christmas movie too. They rap in Wales. Isn't Wales the uh, first, the second Witches killers? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> first, second, <laughs> and fourth. Okay, how many multiple? You didn't specify. He didn't. He can't. I want to say just two, but what if they all of the above, or what if it is three, like you how said? What if it's two and four? I don't know. It's either one and two or all of them. <clears throat> it's not a party one, two, until two. Mary two, Lewid shows up to shout insults at children. <laughs> it may sound scary to some, but this 400-year-old tradition is said to bring good luck and fortune to anyone visited by the strange creature. The game goes like this. A group of people come to carol outside homes with one of them dressed as Mary Lewid. Once led inside, Mary Lewid and the residents hurl rhyming insults at each other until a victor is declared. Make sure you're prepared, though, because if you lose the battle, you have to feed all the carolers. Wait, so they come to your house, and if they if you lose the battle, then they get to eat. So, but they're also the ones voting on who won. <laughs> So it's just unfair. All around. <laughs> you have to really beat them <laughs> to win that. Well, you never said what the answer. It's was. all of them. It just, yeah. it just listed everything: the creature with the horse skulls, Christmas carols, rap battle, and then raid your kitchen. All right, that's not a rap battle, okay? I wouldn't. I was say I wouldn't call that a rap battle. No, that's you unfair. You don't have to rhyme. Number eight. You say you're final a... trivia train alert. Final trivia train alert. Yeah. <laughs> Right. So I don't know fast. why it crashed. <laughs> that was the end of the train. It's not going back. To the bed. Why, you're supposed to make a train pun, not a your mom joke. Same thing. The, I was doing the last question. <laughs> and so, uh, that was good. Yo, mama so <laughs> That was your start of the Welsh battle. Number eight. In Israel, over 18 million what are eaten during Jews America. don't celebrate Christmas. Right? What are you talking <laughs> about? I said 18 million, then I said Jews don't celebrate Christmas. <laughs> In Israel, 18 million Jews don't celebrate Christmas. 18 million or what? Can you are reread eaten? the question? Yes. In Israel, over 18 million what are e eaten during Hanukkah? Latkes. Latkes. Jolly donuts. Jolly donut. <laughs> All of the above. <laughs> Rugelach or falafel. It's the jolly donuts. It's the jelly donuts. 
Right. Pretty positive. I'm it's pretty sure. First one. It's the jelly donut. It's the jelly donut. All right. No Israeli Hanukkah would be complete without delicious, scrumptious, jelly amazing filled donuts. jelly filled donuts <laughs> yes. called Sefkanyoy. Sefkanyoy. I'm going to say that's how you say it. The 18 million that are eaten every year is especially staggering when you consider Israel's population is 9 million people. That's two donuts for every, and we're sure that they reused two questions. Yeah, they reused. they reused the Ramadan question about the drummers, and, they and then the jelly donuts. That's why I remember that because we were playing Ape Escape. What, where's this one from? Wells. What's what's the Wells box? It was the UK box. box. That was the. Uh, I can't remember. They reused that. I remember because we talked about an Ape Escape. That's how I remember it. We were playing Ape Escape and we learned about all the Christmas stuff. That was back when we did the trivia train during the Let's Plays? Yeah. Dang. You remember that? I edited that, and that was one of my favorite Let's Plays to watch. <laughs> That's fair. That's why when you, you said Laka, I was like, Laka's in the Inside Joke. I wasn't just making a bit. I was serious. Because <laughs> I thought it was Laka's the first time, but then we learned it was that. Jacob, you ruined the order. Where was it? <laughs> this one was on top. And there, there was something to do with this left and right game. I'm going to read the rules. Okay. <clears throat> Gather in a circle or a line. I put that in. Uh, with each player holding a gift or yums. We're done. Then one person, oh. the storyteller, sits outside the circle and Too reads much the work. story aloud. It was a cold day, right? To Bl Wait, what's your right? To Jacob. Oh, I guess we are playing. In the middle of December, and the yum buddies were preparing yum boxes for the holiday. These yums are just right for this time of the year. Declared Crunch as he nestled a bag of chips to the left of the candy bag. Right, you are, replied Crumble, as she began to write down each yum placed... No, wait, are you in this? Oh, sure, I'll play. Oh, okay. In the box. And we only have a few boxes left to pack. You're right. There's not much <laughs> left. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> but not sure where I left packing tape. Me? I was sure I left it right. Oh my god. <laughs> if it ends up on here, I'm going to. Right. Where Ash crumbled, uh, worried. Right there. Cried Crunch. Right to the left of the. I didn't even hold it. <laughs> Crunch and Crumble were right to be worried without knowing where they left the packing. Oh my thing. god. They'd never be able to ship their boxes, and they had to be shipped right on time. <laughs> They knew they had to think carefully about where they left it, <laughs> otherwise they would never come to the right conclusion. <laughs> Grumble started to write down all the possible locations when suddenly, that's right, declared Crunch. I know where I left it. How much space Tell is on this page? Right now, in 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 uh, insisted Crumble. It was right there the whole this time way when I left thing. to get more yums. I put it in the finished boxes. That must be where I left. So he left to retrieve the tape. And sure enough, it was right there. And just like that, the yum buddies finished packing the yum box <laughs> and had just enough yums left. <laughs> what did I do? To celebrate, like a crunch said, before they were just right for the <laughs> reason. Are you kidding me? That's Did it? it? You win. All right, let me. It just it. went right once. Eat it. Well, it depends on how many people you have. That was way funnier if only one thing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's everything about the world. You don't need to learn anything else. Quit school right now. Oh, bye. Stay tuned for the next part where we rate all the boxes. Shovel six or six, it's gonna need some more treats. We gotta decide if they need only the heat. See you again soon, next time bring a spoon, put in the work, and then get dessert. Go ahead, come on over, we'll go and get some boba. Some that's fried, some that's green, some that's chilled. Aw oh, dang, I think something spilled. Alright, waiter, pass the bill. It's literally...